Hello, everyone. Welcome to my new video in the Mathematics Essentials series. We have been proving trigonometric identities from this list of 19 trigonometric identities. They are the most common ones that you will encounter in uh, if you go in to do more mathematics or physics or engineering, etc. So we have proven 17 out of the 19 on this list, and all that remains to prove are the final two trigonometric identities, trigonometric identities 18 and 19. And both of these are known as the half angle formulae. And the reason they bear this name is because on the right-hand side of the equations, you have twice the angle theta as the argument of cosine, and on the left-hand side, you only have theta. So of course, theta is half of twice theta. So it's actually common to write these identities as follows. Trigonometric identity 18, in practice, is usually expressed And similarly for trigonometric identity 19, which is expressed as the cosine of theta, over two, all squared, which is equal to one plus the cosine of theta, all divided by two. Okay, now the reason we have expressed them the way we have in our list is that it's more convenient to express them that way when you prove them from the sum formulae, which then you go on to prove the double angle formulae. And it's from the double angle formulae that we proved, uh, that we end up proving uh, these two identities, okay? So let's go ahead and prove them. We will prove trigonometric identity 18 first. Now, when we prove 18, all we have to do, okay, these are some of the most straightforward proofs from all of the proofs that we've done. So let's start the proof. Okay, all we have to do is rearrange trigonometric identity 17. Okay, and 17 is one of the double angle formulae. So it's the cosine of twice some angle theta which is equal to one minus two times the square of the sine of theta. Okay, and all we have to do is subtract one from both sides of this equation. And then divide both sides of the equation by negative two. Now on the right-hand side of the equation, you see that we have common factors of negative two, so they cancel. And you can distribute this negative sign into the numerator on the left-hand side of the equation. Okay, if we do this, we are left with one minus the cosine of twice the angle theta divided by positive two, which is equal to the square of the sine of theta. Okay, and that's precisely the identity that we wanted to prove. Okay, this is the identity we're proving, and this is what we derived from rearranging trigonometric identity 17. Now let's go ahead and prove the last identity on our list. So this is trigonometric identity 19. Let's start the proof. Okay, in order to prove this identity, all we have to do is rearrange trigonometric identity 16. And trigonometric identity 16 is also one of the double angle formulae. It's the cosine of twice theta equal to two times the cosine of theta squared minus one. Okay, now we just add one to both sides. So you have the cosine of two theta, okay, plus one equal to twice the cosine of theta squared, dividing by two on both sides. Okay, and we see we have common factors on the right-hand side, which we can cancel. And this is the result that the cosine of theta squared is equal to the cosine of two theta plus one divided by two. And that completes the proof of the other half angle formula. So we can go back up to our list and we can cross off all of the trigonometric identities because we've proven all of 19, all 19 of them, sorry. So we can cross out 18 and 19. Okay. So this is the last video in the trigonometric identities topic. And now we're moving on to new topics. In the next video, I will uh, start proving exponent laws, also known as indices laws or rules for exponents. Okay, uh, if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like or a share. If you have any questions about what I've done in the proofs, just put them in the comments. And if you would like a notification when I upload a new video, just subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye for now.